All right, let's talk about bending a tube. If you're going to bend a tube so that it's nice and neat and professional looking, you're going to need to use some tools. If you start to bend a tube without the tools, you can bend it on a nice shallow bend if you're careful. But if you try and bend it very sharp, it's going to crimp like that one does, and then there is absolutely no way you're going to be able to put any liquid or any fluid through that tube. So, how do we make a professional looking bend on a piece of tube? Well, the most common way to use is to use a nice small tube bender like this. With the tube bender, it has an area to support the sides of the tube so that it'll uh, keep it from collapsing during a bend. And we can take that tube, we can bring down the handle, and then very carefully as we push it along through that, it supports the tube and gives it a nice even radius to give us a professional bend without any of that crimping. Okay, and this is a, a good option when it comes to working with tools is to use something like this, but it certainly isn't our only option. By the way, these are very inexpensive. Um, it's certainly not our only option. One other option that's a lot of fun is one of these spring benders. Okay, if I use the spring style bender, I can go ahead and put the spring across the top and it's going to support the tube while it bends. Here I can either bend it by hand or I can use something that's got a, a particular curvature that I want and I can bend it over the top of whatever it is that has that curvature. And this will give me a very good result. Now, once I'm done with the bend, the bend, the, the spring keeps the tube from collapsing and I have to slide the spring off the top of the tube. This is sometimes easier said than done, but it is worth it when you have a tube that hasn't collapsed. Come on, you dumb thing. Okay, there is our uh, bend when we slide, slid the spring off. Okay, the spring technique is good in that it is a, a whole lot cheaper. It is not so lovely in that it uh, does tend to flatten out the uh, bend of the tube a whole lot more.